I'm going to back un Uncle Angus because I said the same than he said. Many people are angry at Uncle Angus because of what he said about Cape Town. Cape Town's got no water. And everyone they put on YouTube and they put on, on WhatsApp, prayer chain, pray for water for Cape Town. I don't reverse a trailer to, to, the, to, 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 um, to Durban. I put the car in front and the trailer behind and I go free. Amen. Most Christians want to put the, reverse the trailer to Durban. How long will you take to get to Durban if you need to reverse a trailer to Durban? You tell me. Long. You know, all Christians try to reverse the trailer to somewhere. You put the car in front. So you pray for water for Cape Town? Don't pray for water for Cape Town. Why, pastor? Pray that they will turn to God and stop sinning. Then the water will come. Give Jesus a hand. Cape Town does not have water because of their sin. And we knew as Christians long time ago, God warned Cape Town many times, I say it on YouTube. They need to repent. There's so many homosexuals in that place and they think it's normal. It cannot be normal, man. And they pray together on the mountain. All of them, all the high political people. Pray on, them, on, Cape, on, on Cape Town Mountain together with the Muslims, the Buddhists, and all the, all the other people who serve other gods. Born again Christians pray together with them on the mountain. Do you think God will accept their prayer? I say to Cape Town, you Christians that pray together with the Muslims, the Buddhists, and all the other beliefs, you are compromising God's word. You cannot serve two masters. You go alone as Christians, as born again Christians, and ask God, for a spirit of repentance, and when Cape Town turned back to God, Cape Town will have water, I promise you. You don't have to pray for water. Turn back to God and you will have your water. Give God a hand. I don't pray for water for Cape Town. I pray for repentance. I pray they will turn, turn back to God. They will leave the homosexual tendencies. And the Christians, they will stop praying with the other faith people on the mountain because there's only one God. Amen. And that's the God of Israel and the God of the Christians. Give him a hand. I don't pray together with a Muslim. Forget it. He's going to hinder my prayer. Amen. You cannot, you cannot be with the unbeliever in the same yoke. Amen. I believe in Jesus. I believe in God the Father. And I believe in the Holy Spirit. And I believe that Jesus died on the cross so that all people, people can turn turn. And be saved from their sin. So God doesn't condemn no one. Understand me correctly. No one. He, does, he doesn't condemn the homosexual. He doesn't condemn, condemn the Muslim. He doesn't con condemn the Buddhist. But he wants everyone everywhere to turn back to him. So that they might be saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you think me as a Christian will take a Muslim? I'll take a Buddhist? I'll take this one and that one and that one. Go to the mountain and pray with them? Do you think I will do that? Huh? You think I will do it? Not a chance. Why not? Pastor, you dislike them. You discriminate against them. Uh, 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 uh. No, my God is holy. And he said, you cannot serve two masters. And he said, he said, you cannot be unequally yoked. When I pray, I take born again Christians and I go and pray on the mountain. Give God a hand. They think they're very nice. When they take people of other faith and they go and pray together, they think they're very nice. They turn against God when they do that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do not discriminate against other religions, but I do not accept another God. I will serve no foreign God. God said you cannot serve two masters. His name. Amen. I will not take another God's words on my mouth. Amen. But one thing I tell you, even the Muslims believe that the word of God is not created, but is the creator. Amen. And it says in the evil Quran, it says that Jesus is the word of God. So if the Quran is saying, every knee shall bow. Even the Quran, his knee will bow and his tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Give him a hand. I don't pray for water for Cape Town, okay? Forgive me, please. 
I pray that they will turn back to God and they will have the water. Give God a hand. So let's pray then. Amen. Let's take hands. I clearly state that God, that Jesus didn't come in the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. I love, him. I love the Muslim, and I love the homosexual, I love the Buddhist. But I do not go along with their gods. Amen. Amen. God wants to save them in Jesus' name. Me and my wife, we lead homosexuals to Jesus. We love them. Amen. But we do not love their sins. And their sin is a problem. It's a very filthy, unclean sin. Pray, Lord God of heaven, we pray that the people in Cape Town, that you will have mercy on them. That you draw them by your spirit unto repentance. We pray over Cape Town, the spirit of repentance, in the name of Jesus. We pray a deep conviction on every sinner in Cape Town, in Jesus' name. And we also pray that the Christians in Cape Town will stop compromising and accepting other gods. And where Christians in Cape Town is unequally yoked, let your conviction rest on them strongly, in Jesus' name. God, have mercy on the people in Cape Town. Bring them back to you and to your ways so that they might prosper. We pray for a spirit of conviction and a spirit of repentance on everyone in Cape Town. Let Cape Town become a Christian city that is known as a great city which serve God Almighty, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, and his Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. And everyone say, Amen. Everyone is apparently angry at Uncle Angus because he said what I say. I say with him, I agree with him, in Jesus' name. I don't even know Uncle Angus, so we cannot speak. But I always say this, Amen. You turn back to God, you'll get your water, Cape Town. Give God a hand. <laughs> Cape Town, I say, turn back to God and stop compromising your Christians in Cape Town. And you will have your water. Amen. You don't even have to ask for water. Turn back to God and you will have your water. What is the Holy Spirit's work? To teach me and you. Amen. To guide us. To remind us of the, of, of the words of Jesus. He's also your teacher. Jesus said about him, he will teach you. He will lead you. He will remind you of my words. He is also the spirit of prophecy. When I speak about things like to Cape Town now, you can reject the word, but remember it's the Holy Spirit who said this unto you, not this man. Give the God a hand for the Holy Spirit. Let's say to Cape Town, Cape Town, turn back to God. Turn away from sin, and you will have your water in Jesus' name. 